are we in the in the world of Jinxie? Okay. There's my mouse. Like the that's the line. Yeah, a uh, compulsive liar? I guess so. So you push up and down. How do you go forth. diagonal? There's no diagonal, just push in whatever direction the arrow is. Oh. <laughs> that arrow is pointing down. It is. Go behind it Brandon also says House. Go down behind the Brandon House. Oh, yeah. Ooh, hello, car. That car was there last time. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's such a pretty village. Go across to Granite House. I totally forget what we were doing. Yeah, we just got a Can bag. Can you pull the thing a little closer? The mic? No, the um trash Um We just got a bag over our head and somebody stole our porn. Um, oh yeah, somebody stole a porn. We just talked well, to the I forgot kid. about that. Yeah, the bag. We were bested by a by a paper bag and we a just talked to the patriarch. town tough ruffian. Call the chief over to Abbey Farm. Where is the town hall? Town hall? Where's the town hall? Um, well you can push D to bring up the map. And then the arrow keeps moving up. Oh, he's so, so hoppity. Up one. Nope. Go back. Up. He won't go up. What? Yeah. Up is that way. Maybe just go to that one? Continue along path. Yeah. Okay. Alright. So... They're open from like... 2 to 2 30. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's at 8 o'clock and 8 o'clock has come. So our options are Oops. I think we can go back to the best actor in the world, aka Paul, Paul Ryan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's my favorite. Laugh at him he's my favorite. He's sad and tell him his dad thinks he's a loser boy. Oh, yeah, that's he's true. A boy. Yeah. Uh, uh, we haven't gone to see. Beard Owl, the conspiracy theorist guy. We haven't talked to him in a really long time. I don't think we have any clues. Further into the woods. This is awesome. I want more games like this. Well, this was kind of what I was thinking about for that Twine game we tried to make about the Dunn. Yeah. That's like sort of exactly what I was thinking about, except yeah. for that was with... Still images. Still images and... Um, yeah. Voice acting. We're not allowed in the reading room anymore? Is your stupid seance over? I guess not. Yeah, I guess maybe that was at this hour, so we're not going to get anything out of him for a while. Um, Go harass the dad again. This is where the dad is? No, this is try. the kitchen where we found the porn. Nope. Nope. Abort. Abort. <laughs> Abort. Um... So what do you think? Haven't talked. Well, we just talked to the bartender. I think talked to the conspiracy theorist guy. Theory He's theorist. in the woods. He's in the farm. Farm. We just jumped out from the map. Yeah, that's what I was. Ow. I love this little hoppity action. It's so yeah. cute. Oops. Shit. Go over to Abbey Farm. Everything in here is so pretty. In this shitty farm. Not doing anything, are you? Are you James? Smoking your weed and eating your mushrooms inside? Alright, his name is James. 
Okay, okay, so how do I, I just press enter on these, or? Oh, right, we got the bag from the costume <laughs> shop. Oh, right, where is the Somebody costume shop? Somebody had mentioned that. <clears throat> it was either this guy or... I've seen this anywhere before. Simon and... Nope. Well, somebody was like, maybe nope. that's from the, the fancy Brett <laughs> dress shop. Auto hypnosis is that. Ever heard of auto hypnosis, gonna... James? <laughs> Self hypnosis. Gonna get the good answers yeah. out of this. And what do you know about it? Just break. Just Another name for scrying. Break me off of. Some Tuesday. people call it auto hypnosis. I call it scrying. Right. Style. So you're saying scrying is just self hypnosis? Scrying. You can scry. Scrying is scrying. It's scrying watching the clouds. Maybe the water on a lake in the moonlight. And when you're watching the water... How much <laughs> weed are you smoking? You go into a trance. You lose yourself in your unconscious. You go deeper and deeper. You swim around. Try not to go too deep. Because mm. if you go too deep, you start drowning. Mm -hmm. And you get dragged down to the bottom. As long as you stay swimming, come to the surface again. Mm. Then you wake up and see the world as it really is. A journey to a place people talk about but no one's ever seen. You're thinking about Kate, aren't you? <laughs> what makes you say that? She bought a mirror. I swear I Sold her one last year. Was she into using mirrors that like that? That is pretty good cold. No idea. But she bought one. Right. Did you just, like, growl? Pay attention. This That was crucial. He sold a mirror to Kate last yeah. year. I don't know if we can make anything of that. You could ask him about the doll. What do you know about doll burning? What do you doll know about burn. doll burning? What sort of doll burning? It doesn't mean anything to you. No. Should it? No, that's okay. Really? You don't have any opinions on doll burning, man? Ever hear the phrase, free to be free? Heard anyone use that? Nah. What is it, a song? No, I don't think so. Doesn't matter. This one might be tapped. <laughs> this chicken breast. Alright. Well, we'll talk you. to James later, later, James. Well, we said the thing about selling her the mirror. So, wait, selling who the mirror? The victim. Yeah, but. I guess ask that doesn't Simon and Rebecca about the Rebecca Simon and Emma about the bag. I bet Simon works in fucking monarch costumes. It is in fact his, and <laughs> it is Salvia. Yep. Okay, wait. Where they live in the town center, the uh, Centra. Near it. Where the next one over? North Lane. Right. We still haven't found like a flashlight. There was that thing behind the bar that was like it's um, too dark. There along the path. Uh, yeah. No, I'll go What the fuck? Oh, Eden Lodge, right. Mm -hmm. uh, a few more questions, if you don't mind. Come to my window. Do you uh, know the shop? Tell me Have you used it? Back. No, but I know Some where it is. They were hired from the shop. That was where the shop is. Do you know what auto hypnosis is? Um, it's some type of self-hypnosis, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. That's what you Jack and Hagar it. used on no, me. No, I haven't. <laughs> but I think Kate was into it. She learned it from when she went to Atlas. And what did she tell you about it? Um, not a, not a lot, really. I think it helped her. I think she used it as a sort of self-meditation. Okay. I just want, I just want to, oh no, I can't ask about it again. What about, you can, uh, there's a D. 
What do you know about doll burning? <laughs> doll burning, I think it was something that they did in the course. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Sorry. There's like a little too much like coriander, I nah. guess. What's the taste? Is it coriander? Mm-mm. I'm not sure what it is. On the skin or like skin, maybe? I like it. It's good. I'm, I'm actually feeling a little overwhelmed. By uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. I don't want to become inured to wangs. They have to stay fresh. Not for Simon. A couple more questions, if that's okay. What do you know about doll burning? What do you know about doll burning? <laughs> Not on the course. Hey. Wait. What? Why'd you skip it? <clears throat> We'd already done it. We had? Yeah. With him? Yeah. Okay. What do you know about doll burning? Not on the course. It's a ritual thing. It's uh, oh, and yeah, getting rid of things that you don't need. Throw it into the like fire. Like this doll. I remember saying that. Yeah, it helps. Hey, get rid burn of this fucking piece of shit doll. That's <laughs> yeah, not exactly. Good for control again. There, now you're free or whatever. They're just to help you get into the right frame of mind. Uh, just get you into the zone, you know. Help with the trance. A trance. Yeah, yeah. It's like. Um, but everything like in this game is the new we sailors. We do the course sometimes. It's just to help you get into the right frame of mind. You know? So you hypnotize yourself? Hmm. Hmm. How do you do that? Just stare into a mirror and chant something, you know, just say the same thing over and over again. We've talked about how... Or you could just close your eyes and put yourself into a trance. Some people can do that. Silence behind it. And that's safe. You mean... Well, yeah. Hypnosis eyes. doesn't work the way that most people I think mean, it does. I don't know that... You can't just be hypnotized if you don't want There's to be hypnotized. There's all kinds of weird... I, but yeah, you can learn I mean, that's to just hypnotize yourself. Like pretty awesome. What did you say it was called? Auto hypnosis. I'd actually want to do it. Self hypnosis. Well, auto hypnosis. Same thing, really. Oh, hey, John. I didn't notice you were here. How's it going? Well, I didn't hear. God damn it. I think the. Simon, what's up with this bag? I've seen this. You know the shop. Yeah, yeah, I know the shop. I hired something from them last year, I think. It's for a party, I assume. Yeah, yeah, something like that. I'm feeling a little better. I hired a costume from the shop last year. She said she knew where it was, but had never rented anything from it. Those two don't really line up. Oh, yeah, Ryan's guitars. Did you know your dumb baby boy son stores guitars in your attic, in your garage, Dad? Very worse than the shop, fucker. Maybe ask the lady at the pub? Somebody mentioned monarch costumes in relation to the mask. I know. That's what I said. But I don't remember who it was. It was somebody who we they were like, Oh, is that for a fancy dress party? And yeah. we were like Yeah. What's that? Here. Hold on. Oh, oh. I wanna yeah. pick them apart. I gotta wash my hands before I Ah, sorry. Ah, sorry. I just hit the mic. The apartment is um hopefully fine. There's construction going on next door, so that might have contributed to, like, us getting sick, but don't think it's the cause. I think it's just general rundownness slash... Yeah. <coughs> but sorry for the uh, intermittent coughing. I hate walking. Alright, let's go. How are you doing? Be back later on. Put this through, Re Rebecca. All right, Beckers. Reveal what you know. Rebecca, as they say in, in England. Let's see if there's anything in the restaurant. Nope. Empty as ever. Which I guess is why 
I can few more questions, please. take Thank the you. proprietor slash bartender away from the bar at any moment. Have you seen this before anywhere? Well, I know the shop, a costume shop just outside the village. Ever used it? Not personally, but I think Ryan might have. Of course he did. But we he's in the middle of his dumb session. Do you know anything about hypnosis used on the Atlas course? Are you sure you mean hypnosis or the power of persuasion? What's the difference? Not a lot. <laughs> but if you want someone to do something, it's usually Not easier to ask nicely. Atlas used persuasion techniques. Well, don't all businesses use it, Inspector? Ever heard of advertising? Oh, aren't you clever? She is flirty as fuck. And no, she isn't. The w- she's just missing. Are you sure? That well, that was no. She's sort of like that was like a sensual dismissal, <laughs> and he's kind of just naturally guilelessly flirty. <laughs> so he's flirting right. with everyone at all times and doesn't realize it. Okay, that's it for now. Oh, bye. Thank you. Yeah, the auto-hypnosis is the invisible people who are chattering at the restaurant at all times. Yep. Enter the outbuilding. She went in through the outdoor. Outdoor. She wore a raspberry beret. Yeah, nothing to do with her. The other question is, perhaps, do we have any clues that seem contradictory? Well, that's what I was looking in. I guess... Let's go talk to the dad. Oops. Papa! <laughs> Ask you a couple more things, please. Doesn't recognize it. Salvia Adivinorum. Have you seen this before? No, I don't think so. You don't recognize the shop? No. Is there someone else who works at Atlas? Someone who may have been there tonight? Mm. There's a cleaner. Comes at strange times, but then he's a strange boy. <laughs> work experience. As a cleaner? Well, we did try him in accounts, but it didn't work out. Seems like a strange demotion. What is this, Konami? <laughs> yeah. Can you tell me more about Actually, the auto-hypnosis yeah. techniques used on the course? We don't use hidden uses on the course. Not at all. Not anymore. So, how was it used? Hypnosis is probably the wrong word, Inspector. It's nothing to do with the trances or things like that. It was... It was meant to force... <coughs> to help you students. Like his Did bizarre force them. I really you like... You can't force you anybody like into it. I really like his... You have to want to yeah. It's not something out of your control. You can't be hurt or damaged in any way by hypnosis. He is so overacting, so and I'm so put into it. He is also flirting. <laughs> he looked like he was going to swallow a watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, impossible to be hurt or damaged by <coughs> hypnosis. Uh, Sorry. Yes, all that is true. Liam's death was unavoidable. Impossible to be hurt or damaged by hypnosis. Yeah. I was going to make a Harry Potter connection as well. Yeah, from Salvia Divinor. Divinor, yeah. We do it back. Thank you. Probably I don't think we have time. anything on this guy yet. <coughs> I'm not sure who we could call out.
James doesn't recognize bag. Sounds a lot like James. Aha! Um, well, Simon said in the doll burning thing that yeah. the course involves hypnosis, so I'm going to try and use that on. Yeah, I do that every time. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. Wait. I guess maybe I can put Simon in the door. Mm -hmm. was right, so yeah. Thank you. Probably be back later. <coughs> Excuse me. Pointy shoes in business. That's why they call Ask me about a few Inspector more things, Jinx. I mean, Jinx, what fuck. Is, what does that have to do with your pointy <laughs> shoes? Inspector James. James. What the fuck? That's all for the moment, thank you. I'm gonna try... James said something about... auto-hypnosis doesn't require a mirror. Simon says yeah. it does. No more roommates. Uh, but... Too old for roommates. That doesn't seem like much of a... Couple more questions if that's okay. But I'm gonna try it. Yeah. As strong as possible without mirror. Yeah, that's the problem. Is the, uh, third Eye were a local cult and slave traders. Never went to a Third Eye view. Three finger symbol used in Satanism! <laughs> Never heard the phrase before. Doesn't know about that word. Isn't worth asking James about the remote control. <laughs> you ever seen one of these, James? <laughs> huh, Jimbo? Be back later on if that's okay. Uh, I guess we can try Atlas again. But Is there back. any way to. There's no way to. Yeah. What? What time is it? Eight. Maybe we can. Have we checked back at the town hall again? Yeah. But I don't think More anything's going to change until we find... Uh... Find out about doll burning? I think we have to find the contradiction. Yeah. I don't think anything's going to change until then. Maybe Becker. We have to spot the liar. I mean, I feel like it might have something to do with the fancy dress party. Do you want questions, but maybe please? That's just yeah, that was sticking out to us because well, that's the only lead we have on the thing. But who said that? On the bag. Hmm. 
feel like we got a lot of dirt on Ryan, but we can't access him yet. I mean, something between the bag and the mask, maybe? Yeah. Salvia, also called magic meat. <laughs> James cast spells in the woods. <clears throat> What is this practic? Mm, I'm your fingers. Yeah. Can't um. Use like them. arthritis. Yeah. I think. Maybe. I might be wrong. Thank you. We Probably be back later. I don't see anything in there that seemed all that. Nothing was jumping out at me. We haven't hit him with anything yet, have we? i ask you a couple more things, please. Don't know where bag is from. Atlas cleaner. Impossible. Yeah, not used on course anymore. Aha! There you go. Fucker. Yeah. Well, we knew somebody said it. I uh, guess yeah. it was him. Do you visit Monarch Costumes a lot? No. I used to go in there occasionally. Why? You but go. you do know the shop. Yes, of course I do. You see, Paul, I thought you said you didn't know where this bag was from. Well, Boochak! Maybe I do. This looks like I just put over my head, Paul. I spotted the lie. Would you like to tell me something? Are you suggesting that I had something to do with your mugging? Did you? You really asked the most ridiculous questions. Of course I didn't. So why did you lie about the shop? Well, also, it wasn't much of a mugging. I, I mean, didn't have anything to do with your mugging, Inspector, but I might know somebody who did. Go on. Did Ryan mention Jason to you, the cleaner? Unfortunately, Ryan, at some point, told Jason that the DVD mustn't be removed from the site. That so cowboy hat guy is when he Jenkins. saw you take it, and he, he is our protagonist. He, yeah. he is our hero. He is our goofy. Getting it back. He isn't and exactly what you call one of Darwin's best hero. So what's on the DVD that's so special? All right, it was something I did myself—a little stunt oh. I pulled to amuse the students. What kind of stunt? I pretended to steal from the students. I emphasized the word pretended. The students knew all about it afterwards. Everything was above board. Steal from students? Why? We were doing a piece about pushing the limit, so I decided I, I would show them how it was done. Pushing the limit. Don't look so serious, private, Inspector. Private. I returned everybody's things immediately afterwards. No harm done. And when was this? Last year sometime. At Third Eye oh. or Atlas? Third Eye, I think. And this was before or after Liam died? Well, since you'll probably find out anyway, it happened to be on the night that Liam died, as it happens. Before you ask. No. I didn't steal from him. Do you think it's a good idea to encourage students to steal, Paul? I wasn't yeah. encouraging students to steal. Policemen are so literal. Life is shades of grey, Inspector. Much as the force might like it, it doesn't divide neatly into blacks and whites. Now, if you don't mind, you'd have to excuse me for a moment. You know where the door is. <laughs> <laughs> 
that eyebrow game. Yep. He had such a saucy look on his face. He was like, mm, 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 mm. I mean, they both kind of did. I see did. he yeah. was quick well, enough to claim he didn't steal but... from Liam. Yep. What kind That's of stunt was, was that anyway? Ever. And Liam dying later the same night? It's just all a bit too suspicious. And change the audio a bit, and also I forgot to turn captions on and just realized it. Uh, Alright, so maybe we can go back to Atlas now. Armed with new information. Ambush the cleaner, put a bag on his fucking head. <laughs> also, Jenks, I don't want to soften, or I don't want to tr treat your, your um, victimization too lightly. But that was only a mugging in the literal sense. Like, he put a bag on your head and then and basically tickled the DVD out of your pocket. Yeah. <laughs> no? Come on. It was more of a somebody jump out, jumping out and saying boo and then running away with your stuff. More well, fucking good was that? Maybe, we're, maybe we have to travel the path. We need our feel, next it's drunk time hobo. to be yeah the next magical drunk hobo. <laughs> yeah. His eyes glazed over. This time it's either going to be morphine or pills. We call it black chowder. It's a drug <laughs> soup from Baltimore. <laughs> There's this like Tumblr post of all these like it's stills from SVU mm -hmm. with. Ice tea, captions of ice <laughs> nice. tea saying like fake drugs. Yeah, that sounds pretty great. Daddy! Oh, yeah. Are you there, Santa? Yeah, that's also true that they stole that property that he had stolen. Or maybe just in. Fuck, I keep doing that. Uh, maybe in England, you know. Uh. You just kind of have, like, a universal warrant. <laughs> nope. You're like, I'm allowed to touch any of the stuff I want in this town. I got the... I asked the, the judge myself, not for Emma. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Emma, don't tell Simon I'm here. All right, so Paul's theft What son. do you know about Paul Rand? Paul the Slime. You've obviously met him, then. <sighs> yes, I have. What do you know about him committing a fake theft during one of the courses? What, Did your about him going through people's dad? bags? Yeah, he tried that thing on me as well, weirdo. So you were at third eye? So I sick Nigeria yes. on him. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I went there for a few months after college and I left because I hated it. And I didn't know Atlas was the same thing. No one would sign. The sign? No. I didn't want to burst his bubble, so I didn't say anything. So he doesn't know you went to Third Eye? No. Ah! So is that where you met Ryan as well? Yep. Right. What, uh, what didn't you like about the course? Well, it was just... It was stupid. They just made you do things to other people and be abusive just to prove that you could, and I absolutely hated it. What sort of things? Oh, just stupid things. Burning Nasty dolls. things to prove that you could mm -hmm. do it. It was about not feeling guilty. And it was horrible. That's why I left. And is Simon doing all of this stuff now? No. No, I, I think they had to stop because it was just getting ridiculous. I think somebody got... So many dolls. Something. Very interesting. <laughs> Hundreds of dolls. All burnt. Stolen from the local babies. <laughs> just to prove that they could do something nasty and not feel bad about it. So they'd have to go back the next day and laugh at the baby. Murder your doll. Right, I joined Third Eye after college. It was the Third Eye when Paul pulled stun. One second. Simon doesn't know Emma went to Third Eye. Claims Third Eye was abusive. Third Eye stops his abusive tactics. That's it for the time being, thank you.
just waiting for Groth to get back. Yeah. Well, not being sick at this point would be good. Um. Oh, about the assignment. About the theft stuff. Okay, awesome. <clears throat> they kind of bury the lead with this game, giving you these two to, to like, interview as your yeah. first one. Like, I know, it's really so true. They're so ordinary I by comparison. Like, yeah. What like they kind of about Paul the game really doesn't open up until you meet James. Did you do that? <laughs> I, I've never heard about anything like that. No, it might be part of the risk-taking thing, though. Explain that. Explain. Well, it's, it's part of the course. You have to do something dangerous or risky. Uh, something you wouldn't normally do. Something dangerous? Well, not dangerous, just, just risky. Like, um, saying something you wouldn't normally say to someone, or uh, doing something unusual. Like stealing from other students. Well, we didn't do anything like that, but you have to tell everyone at the end of the course anyway. And you're not allowed to do anything that would hurt or offend anyone. What? Or you're not allowed that to do anything really bad. Contrary. It's all pretend, really. To everything yeah. they've been preaching thus far. It works, though. Does it? Are you. Not allowed to hurt or offend Does others? It? Maybe that's the. <coughs> Is that the thread? Probably. Maybe we can do something about not feeling guilty. And that doesn't it seems like kind of a loose. Yeah. It's probably um, maybe it's something else. Well <clears throat> Or I mean maybe you need another piece to Thank go you. with that. Because we haven't heard of anything else. Well, I feel like Rebecca's might be good for this because she's yeah. the wife. So. Who else would know Paul Ryan better? It's that baby boy. That's true. A uh, few more questions, if you don't mind. Did you know about you think <laughs> Thanks, Nick. Money, I hope Steve, that everybody's Atlas. lives. Are you talking about a particular you know, like incident that. or just in general? It's something he did on the course. Stunt. And what did he do exactly? Oh, well, he pretended to steal from the students. That doesn't ring a bell. Paul's stunts usually involve throwing fancy dress parties with scantily clad girls or women dressed as nurses. That's his usual fetish. When was the last party he threw? A bit ordinary. Uh, a bit like yeah. 1955. This is a bit basic, Paul. <laughs> Uh, hello, hello, egg. egg <clears throat> I can't read from this far away. Waste money on guitars, places to be. Yeah, that didn't really seem to turn up anything. Well, I mean, she took. When did Liam die? Last year, this is in August or July, so it wouldn't. What, about August? No, I'm just wondering if the party last fall means anything. So I don't know. Doesn't know about Paul's stunt. 
Yeah. Sometime in the summer. I don't think any of that has anything to do with this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Let's Ryan play in his room. I am not only his wife, but also his mother. <laughs> I mean, there's, I don't think there's any point in asking James about the, that thing. Uh, okay. That's all for the moment. Thank you. The stunt. I guess it was during Third Eye. Yeah, that was the night Liam died. He probably did, yeah. Did no, that, it was the night Liam died? Yeah, that's what he said. Uh, I somehow completely missed that line. Yeah. So, okay. James was a student, yes. and he got his feelings hurt when he, he was stolen. And no, he didn't steal from know him, so about he... Wouldn't know anything about Paul or something. Yeah. He, but he Be didn't... Be back later on, if that's okay. Steal from Liam. So, maybe Liam felt left out. That's really why I got him. So. See missed anything over here or if anything new will happen with the pointy shoes secret farmhouse full of weed and flashlights maybe no Guess why not. do you want a flashlight because we need to look at oh the... yeah I forgot about that well, go back there these are the only people that <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. It seemed to have any relation to anything. A few more questions, She's the please. only one who Thank really you. had knowledge of it, so maybe there's something. What's that third eye? Simon doesn't know. Claims third eye was abusive. Third eye has stopped its abusive ta tactics. <clears throat> you guys gotta clear out some of these clues. There's just too much shit to scroll through. Yeah. Wait, who gave her the necklace? Oh, her husband. No, she... I forget now. She gave Kate the necklace. Right, but um... She just had it. But who gave it to her? She just had it. No, somebody gave it to her. She's not a not-so-secret admirer. Oh, right. Eh, whatever. But Kate was having the affair with... Or no, she was having She was, with Ryan. yeah. So Ryan gave it to her. She gave it next to Kate. Oh. Thinks James is creepy. Demonstrated how to use a mirror. Says mirror doesn't work. Didn't know Liam very well. <laughs> oh, he knew Liam through the band Blacksmith. Oh, was on holiday the night he died and doesn't the stunt. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Yay. Woohoo. Aha. Uh -huh. So, you witnessed Paul's money stealing stunt, is that right? Yes. But you weren't there when Liam died. No. <laughs> it's a fucking no, piano thing. I don't thing. understand that, you Bow. see, because Paul pulled the stunt on the same night. Liam died later that evening. Um. I, uh, I must have mixed up. So you don't know anything you about Liam's death, even though you were there on the uh, 
relating to no. when you were and or were not in town. You're the liar we've spotted most. Yeah. I think you better explain, don't you? All right, Dad. It was the stupid horse, wasn't it? Go on. <sighs> well, we were all told to do stupid things, and and then that thieving thing happened, and so. Take a breath. Emma. You're acting like a real season one Aria right now. I, and I need you to bring it up to a season four Aria. Oh no! Hi. Um. Liam had a a birthmark on the side of his face, and no one would mention anything, even though we all knew it was there. And we all thought. They all thought it was ugly. So I thought I'd say something, and I... I even asked Paul if it was okay to say it. What did he say? He said he wouldn't mind. Then Liam killed himself. Liam said because of me. Are you a child? Yes. Well, Emma... She's season one, episode one, sure Arya. I regret what you said, but I really don't think you caused Liam's death. There's always more to these things than meets the eye. A girl does not cause Liam's death. We can't tell Simon things. A girl Simon does not tell Simon. Don't worry. <laughs> A man will not tell Simon. <laughs> God, you're the worst. I hate this house. It's yeah, a house of it's pathetic... It's a house of <laughs> basically... I it's possible that what she said led to Liam's death, but I really doubt it. Blame the Rands before I blame him. Yeah, he's not five. He's probably had people call his birthmark ugly before. Like yeah, since he was five. <laughs> Back to Atlas. Class is over for the night. We got put. Yeah, we gotta go visit our. We got put Peter, our Ryan. Yeah. Put, do you think Ron Paul? From the time Ram Paul was born and named, oh, there was something to look at there. Uh, was like, you know how like gamer parents or whatever will be like, I can't wait to show my child uh, Super yeah. Mario Brothers, and I'm gonna yeah. Do you think like, he read it to him with in like Ram Rad? Yes, and he was like scheming for the moment that Ram Ram I mean, Paul probably, was like yeah. a conscious human being that he was like when he's six, I'm gonna like read him Atlas Shrugged and he's gonna love it. And then he did. Flashlight, flashlight, flashlight! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Look, I'm in handy. Don't know why I never remember to buy one. Uh. <laughs> He's so Simple happy. pleasures. <coughs> so simple things, JC. Hello! Simple things, please. It isn't worth what to the iron about the red torch. What do you know? What do you know about this torch that I just <laughs> took? Before my suicide. I was there, I witnessed it. Uh, as well I, I know Emma blamed herself for his death. Did she? Well, she was upset and all of that, but um I, I wouldn't blame her. <laughs> I really don't think she had anything to do with it at all. You don't think? Liam was a very confident person, very outgoing. Very strong individual, or so it seemed. I mean, people are free to do what they like. Even something as irreversible as Isn't bumping it? themselves off. Sad though that is, of course. What do you know about your father's money stealing stunt? Oh, uh, <laughs> well, yes, that was something that Dad decided to do uh, as part of the shock aspect of the course. But he went too far, you believe. <laughs> he usually does. And do you think it did have anything to do with Liam's death? Mm. No, 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 no. <coughs> Liam wasn't <coughs> like that at all. I mean, that was just a simple, unfortunate coincidence. I mean, Liam had his own problems, but he didn't have any problems with the money shock stunt. No. What was it? No. Yeah. The money shock, money shock stunt. Do you know what this is? Well, I think it's a bag. <laughs> Is it a bag, Inspector? The shop. Oh, yes, the costume shop. Yes, we used to hire from them. 
for the course. Well, yes, for the course at the end of each stage, we have a, a, a little party and we ask students to dress up and try acting out uh, being somebody new, their new selves, as it were. Could you explain a bit more? Get a new self. Like mm -hmm. One of the main elements of the course is learning how to like a nurse. How to be uh, just like my you dad need to be in any given situation. <laughs> I think you'll agree, Inspector, that business is about being the right person in the right situation at the right time. What it does, it, it helps them to detach themselves, become somebody new, pretend, you know, you know, that kind of thing. It's surprising what a little bit of cross-dressing can do for you, Inspector. You should try it. Um, not at this stage. Hmm. Oh, he was just bidding. Oh, he was just seeing if he wanted to come to one of his fun parties. Like, try putting on... What's the, what are the dudes that wear the um, full body anime weird like latex skin and everything? Oh, Kirigumi? <laughs> no, this wasn't acting. They're like a business seminar. Yeah. But also. Where they teach you how to be perfect. Isn't it really hot objectivist. in those outfits, probably? Yeah, I mean. That's all I can think of. They don't breathe very well. Can you tell me about autognosis? <laughs> well, what would you like to know? Do you use it on the course? We dip into it occasionally, but uh, it's not a major feature of the course. I would say that, well, a minority of the students know how to use it, but the majority wouldn't know and have a clue. It's not a requirement of the course. No, it, not at all. We don't, we don't it appears ask you have about to do things that they're not six students. <laughs> comfortable with. So what's There's a minority no bribery, in this case? No coercion. Uh, we're thinking about phasing auto-hypnosis out, actually. What's the reason for that? Uh, well, to be perfectly honest with you, Inspector, it doesn't actually work very well. Well, there we go. Can we confront him with the thing his dad says? Auto-hypnosis techniques are being phased out. But his dad said... They don't use They're already gone. But yeah, but... I don't see any option. Yeah. Because I think that was part of the same clue. Wait, didn't his dad say I didn't realize you were a musician. Oh, well, I'm not really a musician. I mean, I, I, I dabble a little bit. To be quite honest with you, I'm far more interested in collecting guitars. You're not in a band. Uh, well, I, I did audition. I did audition a few years ago. Well, I say a few years ago, of course, I mean about 20 years ago. <laughs> Doesn't time fly? <laughs> what band was that? Oh, I can't remember. Something Stone. Aren't they all called Something Stone? Hammerstone. That's it. And you still collect? Um, I haven't bought a guitar for over a year. I feel I've moved on. <laughs> that was such a look of I intense know. longing. I know. All right, so that hammerstone thing is probably. What's with the doll? So, so tell me more about this doll <laughs> bird. Right, what's he's up like, with doll bird? All right, in this cut, I'm gonna you tap my fingers. What's it about? It's about burning your old personality and finding a new one, a better one. So the dolls are you. They represent <gasps> you from you. the past. Each that doll does. has a picture of the student as a child or a teenager. Uh, and they burn the doll and symbolically destroy their old personality. It's quite simple but effective, I find. And why did that girl shout? Because it's an emotional thing. She quite clearly become very attached to her doll. They do spend the first month with them. We tell them to take the doll everywhere with them before they actually go through the doll burning. And you believe that's a good thing? Destroying your past? Of course it's a good thing, Inspector. <laughs> We're all shackled to our past, particularly you by the sound of it, perhaps. Perhaps we should make a doll of you, Inspector, and learn that. What do you think? Mm -hmm. no, thank you. You're probably right. I'm not sure it would do any good anyway. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, you try, try, I'm going to try to get me to enroll in your class by using reverse yeah. psychology. I, I see. see. <laughs> all right. So, let's see. If we can follow anything up about the band. Hmm. Wake up! Wake up! No. 
I mean, what is there? Does he say something about the other the Blackstone band? Well, he said Hammerstone. I He's know. Confused. So, are there any? Is there anything in there about the band? If we go to someone else, will his thing about Hammerstone still appear? No, you're, the only way you can sort of right. bring things between them is if you get one of these like right. notebook clues, usually. But set it under Ryan's guitar. Yeah, but it has to be like one they provide, basically. Oh. Like one they create, I guess. Right. Wait. What? Oh, no, never mind. I was confused. Um. Oh, used to black mirror himself. Oh, used to have. talk to his dad again? Uh, I think his dad's probably off limits. Why? Because he kicked us out of the house. Oh. So he's probably gone for this hour. Because we're going to get some pertinent clue. Oh, yeah. Well, let's okay, go. that's it. Yeah, let's have go look. Thank you. For now and yeah. Go use our torch. Yeah. Go look behind the thing. Before the real police <laughs> catch up with us <laughs> and... Yeah. Arrest us for all this rampant petty theft? Fuck. It's so pretty. Everything is so pretty. I want to go there. It's so cute. That house. That little pub. <laughs> Looks like it's from Harry Potter. Yeah, let me get the butter beer. Looks like you could buy butter beer in that. There we go. I can see everything. Like the murder weapon. And a pot lid. Like an envelope. And a piece of paper. It's an invitation. Carson? Don't put that in your mouth, Jinx. You, you just took that out of a random box. Evil devil worshippers. Oh, well. X X. Looks like someone's been trying to make a point. Was it James? Was it the other hobo? Let's see what you have to say about that. We're assuming that's Ryan's car, right? Yeah. Well, Just a few more questions there, if you don't mind. A pub. Do you know what uh, these are? Oh yes, that's my old car. Uh, it was vandalized. Um, I took those for the insurance company. Where did you find those? At the pub. Uh, you know who did this? <laughs> no, yes. who did this? A girl called Lisa Blint. She was on the course. Name? Very strange girl. Good old Lisa why did Blint. She write the words <laughs> devil worshippers all over Blinty. your car. Well. She was a very strange girl. She had a lot of psychological problems. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure, Inspector. I, I mean, she she took a dislike to the cause for some particular reason. I couldn't quite put my finger nice. on it. And um, she asked for a refund. I declined. And she decided to spray her disapproval all over my car. Odd thing to spray, isn't it, though? Devil worshippers? Well, she was a very odd girl, Inspector. Uh, so maybe she thought say. it was a way of getting back at us. I had no idea. Did well, Rebecca know about it? Well, yes, she did, but I, was, I wasn't about to unleash Rebecca on her. She can be quite fierce sometimes, you know. And I mean, the girl wasn't vindictive. She had psychological problems. So she lives in the village, actually. Uh, the run-down house at the end of the lane. Nice. Can't miss so she's it. your really? neighbor. I knew right. She has one of six people. Are we... Maybe, maybe they're just... Maybe they just are uh, wicker manning us. This is all just an elaborate yeah. play. Would they just need a virgin? <laughs> yeah. A virgin detective. <coughs> Named Jinxie. <coughs> no. 
Yes, Thank she, you. Probably be back later. Player. It is the babiest of baby towns. How to get burnt. <laughs> At the end of the lane, he said. Lisa Blint. Blint. What's the, where's the lane? What's a lane? Yeah, define the lane. Is that the lane? Try the old house. Run down house at Run the end of the lane. House. That's what Ryan said, wasn't it? Was it? It is what Ryan said. Twas it. Twas. Hello. Hello. Pip, pip. Her hair's gonna be like, this time. Is it Lisa? 50 cats. Yeah. Uh, Inspector Jenks, I'm investigating an incident in the village. I wonder if I could ask you a few questions. What sort of incident? I'm also trying to sell magazine I subscriptions. I'm disgusted if that's alright with you. So if you. <laughs> I promise I won't take long. GQ. GQ. Then. I'll just go in here. I'm missing all the I have to go out in a minute. Oh, oh, look, I, I can come back later. I might not be here. What did you want to ask? Ever again. I just wanted to ask you. Did you know Kate Vine? No. How? Right. Well, I heard that you're familiar with Atlas, <laughs> the uh, life skills training company. What do you want to know about Atlas? Well, I heard you reacted badly to it. Of course I reacted badly. So would anyone. Now, why do you say that? Mm -hmm. What do you know about devil black worshippers. mirrors? Devil worshippers. They're making demons appear. Okay. They're tricking everybody. They're getting people to join up. Then they're putting demons inside them. So do you know James? She you lives can see them. Are you across James the cousin? street from James? So I'm assuming you're. You are just James. She Where? is James. You see With the wig on. In the mirrors. You, she didn't Any even shave her beard. Mirror. You can't get rid of them. Stay inside you. So, dude, how do you not seem well? Get rid of them. I didn't. You still see them. I just don't look. I put all the lights on. Make sure it's all bright. I put them on. And I need to look in the mirror. If I make sure everything is bright, I just see myself without... It's the Bloody Mary thing. Seeing the other person. Yeah. That's what it is. Who is the other person? Who is the other person? She's like me, but older. It's like her eyes sink in. She's all wrinkled. With a wrinkled mouth. Like she's dying. And then I realize I'm her. I'm not me anymore. I'm her. I'm sorry. No more salsa for now. you, kid. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ever heard of the no magic mint? No more salvia mint? for you. I was just about to hammer her with 20 questions about every piece of evidence I have. <laughs> what do you know about this? <laughs> Show her the mask as she screams. So the That's Bloody so Mary thing, because I didn't really explain it earlier. Is apparently that is real in so much as like if you have light a kind of a certain wattage like a certain intensity of light mm -hmm. ask about a few more things please coming from a kind of certain angle behind you it's not super specific and you're looking in a mirror your eyes because of the low level light can't really adjust perfectly and it may cause your brain to play tricks on you and you may like your eyes sort of have trouble yeah. piecing together I mean, your face in the mirror. It's yeah. like a, sort of a possibility. Has devil worship ever been part of the course, <laughs> Ryan? Am I correct in assuming that you have spoken to Lisa Blint? You would be. 
She's been telling me all about the Atlas obsession with Satanism, Ryan. Then if you've met Lisa Blint, then you will have worked out for yourself that she has a very vivid imagination. She also has <laughs> psychological problems, diagnosed Quack, psychological luck. problems, as a matter of fact. So where did <coughs> she get the idea that you were, were um, devil worshippers? I really have no idea. The girl is insane. She's frightened of her own shadow, bless her. She actually thinks that demons are possessing her even now. You really can't trust a word she says. So Faith? you are saying there has never been any devil worship at Atlas. I don't even know what devil worship is, Inspector. It's not something I particularly know anything about. I certainly don't recall anyone ever having worshipped mm -hmm. the devil at Atlas. Mm -hmm. We even tried to help the poor girl by paying for some treatment, but she didn't want it. Really? It's not easy to offer someone help when they think that you're the problem. Mm -hmm. Doesn't know anything about devil worship. Yeah. I just opened his wardrobe and it's like all black lipstick <laughs> <and> pentagrams. <coughs> So you used to read a lot about voodoo and satanic rituals, but you don't know anything about devil worship? Well, obviously, I just meant we don't worship the devil. We're not devil worshippers here at Atlas, Inspector. What are you, you talking were about? Obsessed with it when you were younger. <laughs> are you sure none of that made its way onto the Atlas course? And that Lisa isn't basing her beliefs on anything within that course? <laughs> Lisa isn't basing her beliefs on anything other than her own imagination, Inspector. Look, we do use some techniques that some students find difficult, disturbing. We encourage them to see things differently, that's all. I got some you on the ropes. We aren't up to that. Some people, like Lisa, uh, that's why we introduced the aptitude test. What's the aptitude test? This. He just puts his hair in front of his face. <laughs> yeah. We ask students to fill in an aptitude test. Uh, medical history, psychological issues, that kind of thing. Any medication that they have used in the past. Any medication that they currently are using. Here, take a look. Basically, it's just to try and make sure that we don't get another Lisa. Has it worked? Not touch wood so far yet. I keep a copy of this. Touch wood. Touch wood. <laughs> I wonder how much importance they actually give to this test. And what are they doing that's so disturbing anyway? Thank you. Probably be back later. I guess we're going to have to find out. From our man on the inside, Simon. A couple more questions, if that's okay. Have you seen one of these before? Um, no, not not this one exactly, but uh, we had to fill something similar in on the first night at Atlas. One of those aptitude tests, you know, fitness and stuff like that. That's all for the moment, thank you. No, don't. Put the rubber band on your book just yet, James. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Um, it was all just questions about uh, if I had any illnesses or mental health problems or stuff like that. You know. But they didn't actually ask for any proof, so I could have lied through your teeth on that one. Don't think they actually checked. Interesting. Interesting. Would be easy to lie on form. What do you know about devil worship? <laughs> devil worship? Where? At Atlas. <laughs> devil worship at Atlas? No, nah, there's none of that. <laughs> nah. 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 Have you seen these before? Mm. No. Don't know the car. Wait, we didn't ask Emma about the car, did we? Yeah. I forgot. I forgot. Jenks promised not to discuss this with Simon. How about you're a fucking police officer and you could use that to coerce a confession out of her? 
Who cares if she did it? Jenksy has honor. I'm the police. About these. Nope. Sorry. Oh my god, you are always lying all the time. I don't think I can trust you. Well, I don't know. I agree, but... Have you ever heard about there being devil worship at Atlas? Devil worship? No. Definitely not. Who said that? That's mm. just something I heard. Okay, thanks. Yeah, just something I heard. The old skull butt. Thank you. You probably back later. A little bit. Let's see if we can make it to 10 p.m. If the time rolls over, I think that'll be when it's quitting for the night. It's almost midnight. Stupid Dota. I haven't been awake midnight in 30 years. <laughs> it's been like probably a week. Do you want questions, please? Have you ever come across anyone <laughs> interested in or involved? Just hit your mic, mic, Jenksy. As in black magic? No, why? Atlas don't use occult techniques or anything like that. Don't <laughs> point those smoldering eyes at me. Miss Ryan's got a secret he's not telling me about. Why, who's been talking? Just a line of inquiry. Who's oh. been talking? So sensual. Uh, Every yeah, word of I out of her mouth. I, I, I really hope that there's going to be an interaction between her and Ryan. Mm, <laughs> That's why it's got right. got vandalized last year. Yeah. There's got to be some sort of big... Pictures. Oh, whoever did it made a mess, didn't they? But nobody was prosecuted. You don't know who did it? Not that I remember. The insurance paid out, then. What is Ryan's camera has been st Oh, Do you know anything why. about this? It's the aptitude test, isn't it, for Atlas? What do you want to know? Do you know why it was introduced? I think they had some trouble with some unsuitable students. Oh, I suppose you have to be careful who you work with. Flirting. I don't think so, man. That's not what I'm getting from her. Oh. She wasn't the one that was the fairy magic? No, she's the one who knows about Salvia. So wait, was it Emma that was the, the magic spells in the woods? I don't remember. Yeah. There you go, that's... What?! Come on! Oh, that's James, though. Yeah, I know, but... Photos, Ryan's camera has been so long. Oh, that seems crazy. That feels like it's going to be vulnerable at some point, but I guess not now. Unless auto-hypnosis count. No. But he said it was scrying. James said it was the same as scrying, and I trust James implicitly. <laughs> He's the only one who knows what's really going on, I man. Think, I think the crazy conspiracy theorist should not be the person you trust on implicitly. But she didn't give us a new clue about the car thing. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. I mean, we've got so much satanic shit, we kind of have to go talk to James. Yeah. Time, yeah. He is, he, maybe he and, um, Lisa know each other. Maybe they're best friends. Maybe, maybe they're hanging out right now. Traces. Yeah. She was like, I have to go <laughs> see James so we yeah. can talk about, know anything about these. how we're going to defend ourselves from the mm -hmm. devil. Really? Fast. The fucking. Do you know anyone who you is think you'd at least have a professional interest in worship? Yeah. Have you met Lisa? Which Lisa are you talking about? 
mad Lisa. Lives on her own, doesn't like mirrors. Yeah. Not yeah, even black imagine. ones. You think she's mad? You can't look at yourself in the mirror without seeing ghosts. You've got problems, don't you think? How do you know her? She's so there are four people. people. Talking to her once, that's all. And what did she tell you? Nothing much. She only Except came she once. The devil right. was after her. She didn't come, you know, like every what time she needs eggs. Her? So she didn't like the eggs. Like <laughs> she was just like most Not very good eggs. Tainted with salvia. Tainted with salvia. Tainted with That's all madness is. Being blind to yourself. Yep, that's definitely what it is. Well, good call, James. Uh, have you heard about the <laughs> definition of insanity? No! <laughs> Never. James wouldn't know anything about Ryan's musical ability. What the fuck do you know, James? Need a James supercut of him just saying no. No. All the time. Mm -hmm. Or them all saying no. Ever hear the phrase, free to be free? Heard anyone use that? No. Mm -hmm. What is it, a song? No, I don't think so. Doesn't matter. Well then why'd you fucking ask me, Jenks? What do you know about doll burning? What do you know about spaghetti dolls? What sort of doll burning? It doesn't mean anything to you. <laughs> For someone obsessed no, with the occult, a... you don't seem to have any interest in the stuff one would naturally associate. I don't think he's obsessed with the occult. I think he's obsessed with, like, mirrors and weed. <laughs> That's really it. Well, I don't know. He seems to be pretty into that stuff with them. Scrying. Third eye. Blinds. The scrying, because he's, he's, he thinks he's a druid. <laughs> Thank you. Probably be back later. Well, what the fuck? That was a dead end. Yeah, that's bullshit. I guess we can check to see if Paul Ryan's done taking his nightly shit. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna do about <coughs> 45 minutes. Questions, if you don't mind. Oh, I guess we are allowed to. Nice. Can you tell me a bit about this, please? Uh, it's the oh, test. What do you want to know? What does it test exactly? It's a test. What do you think? Uh, I hear you think you see that sure over there. That any students didn't have okay. any major personality problems. Classic. Skeletons in the horseshoe pattern baldness. We introduced it because it was a little bit of a problem with one of the students. Hmm. Lisa. Isn't it impolite to leave your hat on indoors? It's like Gears of War. He's not going to take it off until the third game. I believe the course. You're not a cowboy, Jinxie. There are rules for hat wearing in these little towns. Two psychological problems. And did you change anything else, of course, apart from introducing the uh, test? We increased the entrance age to 21. It wasn't much, but it's the only thing we could do. We didn't want another Lisa. We didn't want students turning around and suing us, could we? Did she see you? Do you know anything about devil worship, Paul? I beg your pardon? Devil worship? Satanism? Those are two different things, Jackson. <laughs> <Jackson. laughs> something here. Satanists do I not heard worship I the devil. had elements of Satanism on the course. It's about being yes. free to be free. <laughs> We're a training company. We're not devil worshippers. What kind of a question is that? So you have no interest in the occult? No, he has a right to be I have no interest in the occult any in more than I have interest in pool vaulting, cheese making, or snake charming. Cheese making. Anything else you want to know that I'm not interested in? That's fine, thanks. <laughs> Why is he so meek? He's so mean. Alright, you've cowed me. Do you know what these are? Yes, that's Ryan's car. Another toy he managed to ruin. It was vandalized sometime last year. Do you know who did it? I don't believe anybody was ever prosecuted for it. Everybody keeps saying that, but... 
Do you think Emma's criticism of Liam on that last night led to his suicide? I doubt it, Hal. Did you encourage Emma to criticise him? I didn't encourage Emma to do anything. Ever. I mean, the children will be That's what our course is allowed. To, do, to express themselves as they want to. It would be out of order to criticise them after that, wouldn't it? However, mm. I didn't expect her to criticise his birthmark. If that's what it was. That's a decision she took herself. Was so you didn't know like how well. A patch of removable mm. drugs he had painted <laughs> to his face. <laughs> if that's what it was, a birthmark. I guess like a burn. <laughs> Poorly applied makeup. Yeah. Hardly knew Emma. That that. She said something about him. She asked Paul if it would be okay. say anything about because he's he asked did you change anything on the course yeah that'd be a nice contradiction with that not being used anymore but nah. Never use scrying mirror. No interest in scrying. Atlas <laughs> doesn't use scrying on the course. No, no nothing's leaping out of me. Yeah, me neither. Sad. That, that's He's finally let the license go. The light. Wait. Wait. Bark and everything. Well, I have to be able to move. Uh, I guess we'll maybe see if we got anything new. Right now, I feel like it's hinging on this dude. I mean, we don't have more information about the cleaner? Nope. Maybe they're what lo loitering in the woods. If you don't Maybe. Mind. I have to psychology performance. So there's a lot of that. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Wait, this. Thinks people are free to do what they like. You know, God, stop pushing your agenda, Mr. Ryan. Wait, isn't there something like believes auto hypnosis works and doesn't, or is that just different people? Dad it thinks it doesn't. Different work. people. He, he says it doesn't works. work. I want to find someone because his dad says they're not using it anymore, and he says they are. What doll burning or I don't know. No, oh, he says hypnosis. one says they're phasing it out, and one says they're. He says they're phasing it out. Yeah, I guess that could. Uh, yeah, I feel like that's too fine. Uh, yeah, that's not really what this game is about. Yeah. It's not spot the minced words. No.
That's all for the moment. Thank you. Maybe if I'll find Lisa in the woods. Yeah, I guess we can do a run through the woods. I feel like it's getting too late. Nobody's gonna be out in the... God damn it, guys, come on! <laughs> the, like, flipping the... Yeah, it's pretty confusing. You're breaking the 180 rule. The Lake Junction. Go up to the jetty. Um, should we check out a clue and see if that puts sure. us on the right path? Yeah. I haven't done that in a while. Current tip. You should call the uh, chief. What? That has never been necessary. Alright. Is that part of this game? I Every mean, time we've tried to call... The one time that you called... Nothing. It's never picked up. No, but then it had us call the chief automatically. It was a scripted event. I had no memory of this. Really? Yeah. Maybe I was sleepy last night. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, got it. I do remember that. Right. No, it was just some dude. Jenks, I presume. Yes, Steve. Good morning. Oh, well. <laughs> chief, good morning. news. It turns out Emma was with Liam on the night he died, and she thinks she caused him to commit suicide. Is this... Checking with the chief or gossip. Part of the course. Yeah. Nice of her. Why did she do that? Requirement of the course, apparently. To say something offensive. It's meant to encourage free Ooh. thinking. Interesting opinion. And I suppose no, that that's just think that's what the path of the course or something like that, do they? Well, Paul wasn't too bothered. He claims he didn't know Emma, so couldn't have predicted what she was going to do. That doesn't wash. What does Emma say about him? She does not like him. Really doesn't like him. So she must have known him well enough. How well did he know her? He claims not very well. Well, make sure he's telling the truth. Oh, I've got a cup of coffee to make. <laughs> yeah, okay, thanks, Chief. Right. Yawn. Chief's a big baby. Yeah, literally. It's just a giant baby. <laughs> um, yeah, this definitely looks like... Um, a couple more questions, if that's okay. Like, 1980s movie, Day for Night. So was that a clue, or was that actually part of the plot? Hardly knew Emma. Chief's got good instincts, otherwise he wouldn't be the chief. Wait, who are we interviewing right now? Oh! Paul. I mean, she was having an affair with Ryan. his son. I guess that doesn't really mean anything. Doesn't insists he didn't buy it for Kate. No. Do we have to find... I mean, it's possible that we have to go talk to her about it. But I feel like she... She gave, me, she gave us this clip. So it has to be something that he said. Well, no. She said that she asked him if it was okay. Yeah. So, but I didn't, I thought we couldn't ask that because it was something he, go talk to her. No, but I'm saying it, she gave us this clue, so. Didn't encourage Emma. We must have to attach that clue to something he said. All students enjoy the stars. Videoed. I mean, so, I doubt it's this, but. What? Yeah. No. No. It's guitars. Nope. That was phrase. Yeah, thanks. It's just, gen yeah, that's fine. Generally, we try to figure it out. So yeah. It's probably just saying it because we've had <coughs> a couple people come in and just be like, Bleh. Yeah, somebody <laughs> might have spoiled the whole thing for me. Oh, no. So, 
the word now, though, got to try on, about this on kid. guard. Uh, but yeah, we I mean, been drinking, tend to try Pride, it. confident, alcohol. I mean, none of that. This stuff all feels too old. We haven't really actually. I guess maybe the bird necklace is how we found out about the affair, so that yeah. too might be done with. Yeah. We haven't used this fucking I know. bike for anything. I was just thinking that actually <laughs> earlier. I was uh, like, that bike was a red herring bike. Um, I mean, I'm not. There's also the thing about not allowed no, to offend please. anybody, but that's with. Oh, that's with a uh, fake legless. <laughs> Um, I mean, I guess we can go talk to her, but I feel like it's got to come. No, it's it has to come from him. We maybe we're missing a clue. What has to come from him? The contradiction, because he's the one who says he hardly knows her. So. What video? I don't know. I don't know. You're lost. Be back later on if that's okay. Just try Emma just to see. Be like, Paul says he doesn't know you. Be like, that motherfucker! I'll kill him! <laughs> more questions please thank you filled in a similar form yeah, that's atlas <laughs> ever seen one of these <laughs> flashlight Jane, okay. the video where yeah. simon is like half naked pretending to be like a singing oh this is that this guy? Well, his name is Simon, so... It definitely looks exactly like him. But I think I saw, like, uh, a second of it, but I don't. I didn't watch the actual video. I, I was planning on it, and I didn't get around to it. I'm completely lost. Okay, that's it for now. In but that probably of, is why I was thinking of Legolas. In the essence of, him of is time. Of because look, he looks exactly like that and guy. And not falling asleep on the keyboard. There must be, well, great fucking clue. Come Thanks. on. Wait. I mean, so, do we just... We checked everything this dude had, right? It's gotta be him. But what are we missing? The post office? Is it because we haven't gone to the post office Well, yet? no. It, it, again, yeah. I think that we, the chief was things. like... It's about Emma not knowing... Yeah, we need to attach this to something else. Didn't expect Emma to discuss Liam's birthmark, maybe. But th that it's seems not going to be contradictory within the same state. Yeah, I guess that's true. Gonna, all right, I'm going to chamber this one. And yeah. We're just going to have to go through it bit by bit. Maybe the affair thing? Is that what you... Did you do that already? Mm, I didn't try it. Oh, maybe bought a freedom necklace for a student? Yeah, maybe. Nice! Ah, nice! Yay. You say you didn't know Emma. Uh, yet you bought her a freedom necklace. I don't remember saying anything about buying Etna a necklace. You so, didn't, yeah. until now. So you did buy her one. So that means you must have known her, and quite well too. Stop making such a big scene about this, Inspector. This is part of your petty morality. The clock is ticking. And I admit I have a, an embarrassing weakness for attractive women. <laughs> all right, all right, all right But that's all it was. So you're saying you tried it on with her? <laughs> no, I didn't try it on. 
I bought her a necklace. Did you try the I'm necklace on? I'm not aware that there's a law against you both buying try presents, it on. unless, of course, try it on that's the British necklace. slang for common. has been elected <laughs> while common. I was at a bridge party. Emma was old enough to make decisions for herself. And, as a matter of fact, she decided that she didn't want to be bothered with an old fool like me. So, nothing happened, no mistakes, nobody got hurt. Alright. <laughs> like father, like son. Nobody like that. Was there. I wonder how many students Paul <laughs> yeah. has tried it on with. Was it Liam? <laughs> Once tried to date Emma. That's all we got out of it? I guess maybe now we can... Can we talk to her? About so him? he's the unwanted admirer. Yeah. Wait, students what? Go back. Yeah, never mind. There's nothing about being professional with students? Nope. There are no leave your petty morality <laughs> at the door. Free your mind. Is that people talking outside? Yeah. With the headphones in there. Wait. Computers. What? Did he say something? So, she... No, I guess... I guess <laughs> we could talk to Emma again, but I don't know if we actually have a clue that we can... Yeah. ...think you asking her about. Right now, all we have is this thing once tried to date Emma. Thank you. Probably be back later. Thank I don't you. Really think that's how that game, this game works. Don't think you. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. Yeah. No. So we have to hit him again. So the double down, yeah. Jenks, you lost momentum. Yeah. Now he's got you right where he wants you. Yeah. Thank you. Probably be back later. Uh, I don't know. Do we keep keep on him? Yeah, I think so. Maybe. So if you did try to date Emma, then. Then why are you so gross? Well, that all ends up. To Ask me. about a few more things, sure. please. No contradiction there. Yeah. Sort of even causal. Reluctantly abides by the law. <laughs> Did you name this Terraria? Well, I thought I changed the name of the stream, but maybe I didn't. It should be. It should be we ride together, we die together, James boys for life. <laughs> Maybe he got... Um, we did. We played it earlier. We played it for a while. Didn't recognize Lee. We we'll probably played him hard, too. It's so fun. Was that at? Didn't see Liam after the course. Liam had been right here. So it was great. Um, hmm. That's all for the moment. Thank you. I'm so tired. Keep my ass open. Wake up. Here. You call the chief again? We just talked to the chief. Oh my god, so needy. Terraria is pretty fun. You'd be like, oh my god. Stop pressing all the wrong buttons. I can't even open my eyes. I'm like a little baby chick. Freshly born into this world, wandering to Rebecca's pub on my tiny webbed feet. <laughs> Coddling, really. I will have a thimble of ale, please. <laughs> Tiny duckling. We're playing Terraria on expert mode, and we tried to fight the eater of worlds. And, and it, it kicked, us, go, kicked go our ass. Off. It, in fact, went quite poorly. Chief, I finally saw a bit of what goes on at Atlas. I walked in on a meeting. <laughs> Very strange. There were several students. Why didn't you tell him this last time? Turns to burn handmade woolen dolls. Ryan had an explanation for it, <laughs> did Simon. He claimed it was all about burning your past or something. Actually, Simon told me something interesting. He said they also use auto-hypnosis on the course. Oh, what's that? 
Self hypnosis, hypnotizing yourself. Uh. Apparently, that may have been what disturbed Lisa so much. Is it dangerous? Well, maybe we should. Not in theory. No. Nobody I've spoken to seems to think so. Well, if it disturbs Lisa so much, then it can't be all that safe, huh? I mean, can it? I suppose it depends on your psychological state to begin with, but I'll look into it. Okay, keep it up, Jax. Always do, Chief. Well, Always so. do. <laughs> Always do. Always, I never stop. Never, Jinx. I never is a machine. Stop. He's a robot detective. Ever. That's why he always he's, keeps that's, detecting. That's why he emotes so detecting. much because he's like, I have to be human. <laughs> you have to stack two pop pants in order to talk to him. <laughs> that was pretty good. Somebody sent me this thing this morning that was like. In Fallout 3, you can sequence break in the beginning of the game when you're a baby and play the entire game as a baby, which means nothing except that you're just really short. Mm -hmm. So to beat the game, you have to stack a bunch of pans so you can reach a <laughs> console and like activate the radiation device that will kill you and save the world while these adults watch a baby do it. Yeah. They're like, Godspeed, baby. <laughs> Couple more questions, if that's okay. Wait, why does eating peppercorns keep them alive? I guess that makes them feel warm in their tummies. That's but that's... Oh. how? <laughs> I mean, it's about as sensical as what actually happened in the Fall Three and there, to be sure. Okay. Incident prompt them to use an aptitude test. It's something about the unsafe techniques. Yeah, well, sh I don't know. I guess that was a uh, right leg list was the one that, I said. So we have to find something maybe about the uh, non-major part of the course. There has to be something about like all techniques are safe in his dialogue. Yeah, um, that's always kind of the parents thing and I was like, like yeah. that. We weren't finding expert mark mode too hard until, until we this, tried to like, kill the yeah. Uh, boss, but MC The mask. Mm, I don't think it's the mask this time. Always the mask. Good night, dude. We are also brain dead. Later. Yeah. Salvia has played a minor role in the game. It's they make a tea out of it called Magic Mint. <laughs> Magic Mint. <laughs> yeah, it's, it it that sounds, sounds pretty great. That sounds awful. Yeah. Uh, do you? That's what I said. I mean, I think it just it just makes you like black out for fifteen seconds, is what it does. I think. It's like you just that doesn't. It's not very fun. Well, come on, you know why she wrote Devil Worshippers? Wait, so the chief said what? He was like, if they couldn't have all been that tame, well, maybe you should go talk to other people who... Oh, go talk to Legolas. Um... Be back later on, if that's okay. I guess so. I felt... I, I don't, now I don't remember exactly what the chief said. I guess I should have paid more attention. But I'm so sleepy. Just gotta stick it out. <laughs> I just don't think we have any new I actually did do Sylvia once. A few more questions, right please. Right after college. It was terrible. <laughs> but it only lasted like five seconds. Yeah, this guy doesn't know fucking anything. Yeah, I guess that's true. But it was like 
he keeps being like, oh, it's so safe and great. So I thought that, like, maybe the safety no. thing. Well, maybe we're supposed to stick with Peter Ryan. Or if he knows this can't be the vibe as long as we want to. Should we ask James? James has no shit. He knows yeah, less cool than this dude. fucker. Try everything once, kids. I mean, don't do drugs, kids. Uh, can we call the chief again? Thank you. I don't know. Probably be back Get later. a repeat of that dialogue. I feel like I'm embarrassing myself to the whole internet. I'm not on the top of my puzzle solving game because I'm so nappish. Were they just like hit random buttons? Nope. He's like, fuck you, Jinxie, I'm making coffee. Fuck you, chief. There's no like log, is there? <laughs> I'm not actually telling you to try any drugs, Nick. You clearly are not a fan of drugs. You should never try drugs. Mm. Never ever try drugs, Nick. Maybe Lisa went home. Nick should never do a drug. Uh, we can't, yeah, she's not a real character. Fuck her. I guess we'll do another scan of this guy's dialogue. Let's see if we miss uh, ask you a couple more things, please. The safety. I think that my brain just doesn't like hallucinogenics. It's just like, nope. This is terrible. Everything stop. All was clear was the mugger. I mean. That was kind of just a shot so in the no dark. Yeah. has ever been affected by auto hypnosis, except Lisa. Oh, I guess. Hypnosis wasn't right, a problem. I mean, that's like I the biggest leap of logic this game has required of us. <coughs> Usually, the contradictions are pretty literal or like the right. Right on the cause, believing we were all devil worshippers. She was nuts to scare you. We didn't make her like that. Well, as far as I can tell, Paul, you've had one student accuse you of devil worship and two others commit suicide. Some of your students aren't having a very good time on this course, are they? Jinxie is not having it anymore. Oh, yes, we're having a very good time on this course. Bubbly, confident, flirty. Oh, really? Oh, uh -huh. with whom? With whom? Pretty much everybody, including me, as I remember. Ew. Really? Stop. And nobody uh, will flirt with Nobody for, wants to flirt uh, with you. He's flirting with me right now. With students you look like your teeth are made uh -huh. each out of individual cigars. Uh -huh. Like you smoke Just cigars with your... Sorry, I missed it. What There's no say? way Paul would have turned down an opportunity like that. Yeah, there you go. I knew that was going to come up. Yeah, no, I forgot what clue that was originally. Ah, uh ah. -huh. So you avoid relationships with students. He has to keep that on to hide his positronic <laughs> brain. <laughs> it's just what exposed Did you try to date her or not? That don't be so ridiculous, Inspector. Kate was an exceptionally clever girl. She knew exactly what she wanted, and she knew how to get it. You mean that sex with I am old not... men. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> what that yeah. happens. Clearly. Kate had Clearly. more enemies than you think. She was a very, very manipulative young woman. Whoop. Okay. Alright, so I guess that's it. Ten o'clock, it's getting late. 
about an hour. Yeah, just started getting pace if I'm gonna solve this by midnight. By midnight, yeah. I don't know. I, it's already, it's yeah. already midnight. Our, it's already past midnight. It's we midnight did. thirty. We midnight did, thirty. We yeah, old man, <laughs> that's horrifying. Uh, no, old man with teeth like cigars. Um, Fucking tomorrow will beat contradiction and defeat the world leader. That's my yeah. Let's play Terraria tomorrow. Everyone, come play Terraria. I don't Terraria. believe Terraria exists. Terraria, you were shitting all over it. You were being all fussy. Well, that's because Dota is a bad game, and nobody should watch. So you were taking it out on Terraria. Yes, current game save luckily. Come back soon. Okay, goodbye, Make contradiction. Make another one, contradiction. Please. All right. Well. Yay! You should come play. It'd be awesome. All right.